Where did you spend your New Year's Eve? In a bed. Yes, I put on for my city. On, on for my city. On, 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 on. <laughs> All of the things. Yeah. What up, it's your girl Mina. In this video, we are doing a QA because y'all have some questions for the kid on Instagram stories. So I wanted to answer them for you in a video because you can always find them, refer to them if you have questions later that are similar to the ones that I'm answering to you today. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, join my text community because you can text me one on one and it's free. It's not international, I'm sorry. But if you're in the US, text a kid, okay? So if you ask me a question on IG stories, I'm gonna answer your question. If you didn't, make sure you follow my stories because a lot goes down, it's fun, and you can find me there when I'm not here on YouTube. All right, let's go. I'll link this lip. It's called Boss Lady from the Lip Bar, and then I'll link the shacket in the description box. Oh, and this bodysuit too, down below, okay? Okay, so first question is 2022 plans. Jeez, all right, well, I don't wanna share specifics per se, but overall plans, if you saw my weekly vlog, then you know that one of my plans is to just big up myself. To be happy and continue to do things that make me happy, search for things that make me happy, and avoid the things that don't, the situations that don't. To be in better control of myself and my decisions and my behavior. I fell quite a bit last year as it relates to that and I want to just be better this year. Like not popping off, not losing my temper, being in control in its entirety as it relates to myself, my behavior, the whole nine yards. And of course, being happy and choosing to be happy, like finding a reason every single day to be happy and not putting that on someone else. It's no, it, I've said this before in my vlogs and I'll say it here in this video. It is no one's responsibility to make me happy but myself. And I've gotta find ways to be happy. And there are a plethora of reasons for me to be happy that it's like, why waste my days upset about certain things? I'm just not gonna do that anymore. Do you think you'll start doing virtual makeup classes again? Oh my gosh. So I get this question often. If you don't know, two years ago, I used to do virtual classes when the pandemic first started and, and they were nice. They were good. I enjoyed them. I did see some areas that did need to be tweaked. The classes were too large, but I did get feedback, which was very helpful. I don't know that they were that helpful because I've thought about bringing them back. I've thought about ways that I could bring it back to make it easier for myself because I'm very busy. I gotta be honest with you. I want you all to learn how to do your makeup. I do know that for some of you, you just watch my videos just because you're not actually learning. I don't know what you're doing, girl. Either way, I'm glad you're here, okay? I do wanna teach y'all how to do your makeup. I just don't think that the classes were that helpful. I do need to think it through. I gotta be honest, it is not a priority for me, but it is something that I know y'all continue to ask for. If I find a way to make it more helpful, I will certainly let y'all know, especially in the text community. Y'all gonna hear it first, so make sure you join that if you are in the US, okay? Why don't you ever post your hubby on, or son on social media? I get this question a lot also, and it doesn't offend me. It is a curious thought, and I get it, because many people on social media overshare. They share a lot of things. I do share a lot too, you see in my vlogs, right? But I'm choosy about what I share. My husband is not a social media influencer. He does not like to be online. It doesn't interest him at all. Even when I'm filming family videos, he's like, what, what are you doing? I'm like, uh, capturing moments, hello, you know? He's just not into that. So I don't wanna be that person always like, oh honey, come on, come on, come on, come on, be the video. <laughs> Here we are doing this. It would just look so stupid to me. And then I'm gonna get the comments of like, Oh, he don't like to be online. Why is he so this? He's he's not. It's just he doesn't want me on. He doesn't want me on the, on the internet. He he's not interested. So I don't want to be forcing him and then put up this expectation that this is a couple's channel and then when he don't want to be in it and it's not a couple's channel and I don't fault him. This is not what he wants to do. He's not a an internet person. He's not an in front of the camera person. I am. I signed up to be an influencer. I signed up to put my videos and pictures online. He didn't. So that's just that on that. And I'm also private in that way where if you don't want to, I don't want to force you. Listen, there's too much going on around in these streets. I don't want to have an internet relationship where when stuff is when stuff is hitting the fan or whatever it is, I don't need to come on the internet and explain to y'all what's going on. I just cannot do that. You see what I'm saying? So that's that. And then as far as our son's concerned, my husband's again, not an 
internet personality of any sort. So he's not into that whole idea of having our child online. And I can't lie to you, I'm not either. Yeah, I get tempted to want to share a picture or share a cute video, but then I just share that with my family. I don't have to share it online for it to be real. Not only that, he's a baby. <laughs> he's my baby. He's six, but he's my baby. So yeah, I talk about him, but I don't feel inclined to share him. I do know that mommy bloggers make mad money, okay? But I don't ever want to start sharing him because I can potentially make more money. That's just not okay for me. And we just don't want to. So that's the answer to the question. I get it a lot because people often share their family, like just for free, you know? And we don't want to do that. We just don't want to do that. What's the best scrub ever? Like body scrub, I can't lie. I use the exfoliating body sapo. Sapo is the sponge from Ghana, straight from Ghana. The white one I have is from Ghana and Casa, from the market in Ghana. And that is an exfoliator. So you put your body wash on that. I use that every single day. So I'm exfoliating my body every day. We use that from when we were children up until now. And that's what I use every single day. As far as body scrubs, like a product that has beads or what, you know, those granular things inside of it. I don't use those often. I do have one from Dove when Shayla had a collab. This was last year, girl. And I signed up for that. I do have it. I haven't used it yet. I do have one from Necessaire that I haven't used yet. So I have stuff, but I haven't used them. So I can't say, you know, but the sponge, you gotta get it. Now, I do have a code for you to purchase the Sapo Body Sponge here in the US. It's not from Nordstrom either. Nordstrom out here trying to take all our stuff and put a different name on it. No, excuse me, it's called Sapo Stop. Okay, Nordstrom Stop, okay, praise the Lord. Link is below if you wanna purchase that, okay? Hey, you said you, um, you're you almost 40. What secret are you using for your skin? How do you keep it so young? There's no secret. If you've been following my IG, cause I've been there longest, and then of course YouTube, you see what I do all the time. There is no secret. I'm not hiding anything specific. You gotta understand though, genetics play a huge role in how we as a people look. You should, you know that, right? But then of course, the way we age, it plays a huge role. Of course, melanated skin, sags and, and wrinkles a lot slower. So praise the Lord for that, cause ugh, who is not trying to rush in that area? But genetics play a huge role too. If you look at your mom and her age and how her skin looks, that'll tell you how you're gonna look. Of course, if you are taking precautions like wearing SPF every single day, not sunbathing and stuff like that, and all the things, then of course your skin will be tighter, longer, but it's genetics, honest to God. I do a lot of skincare. I love my skincare routine. I take it very seriously. You've seen that. If you haven't, stick around, watch some videos, you know what's up. I do, however, want to try out those at-home facial devices. I have one or two that I haven't used yet. I wanna do that. I do shave my face. If you Again, if you see my videos, you know that I do shave my face. Other than that, girl, is genetics. Listen, I can't lie, your girl feels good. I don't look 36, I don't feel. <laughs> 36, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm aging backwards, you know, back, back, forth and forth. So that's that on that. What's your favorite scripture? I don't have a favorite, but what I do is just remember a lot of different scriptures in the Bible in my mind when I'm needing to be encouraged. For instance, to find joy in everything, to wake up and be glad in the Lord, and just to be thankful all the time. I'm constantly reminding myself of what I have to be thankful for. Of course, I'm reminded that all things will work out for my good. I'm reminded that what God puts together, let no man put asunder, stuff like that. Like, you know, the stuff you hear growing up, it's just very common in your mind, but I'm reminded of the overarching themes in the Bible that help me in times where I just need to be encouraged. Okay, there's my answer on that. Any particular advice you'd give young women? Oh my God, a lot. <laughs> A lot of advice, like what you mean? It's not just like particular. Ah. I actually thought about doing a video which would be a discussion of things that I would tell my younger self. That might be a little bit personal, but we gonna find out. Cause you know, part of what I am doing here on the internet is sharing my life and my love for Christ and what God has done for me, okay? And that does challenge me to talk about things that I don't want to talk about necessarily, and it challenges me to touch on topics that I would prefer not to talk about, but I do because I know that part of me being on here and sharing my love for makeup and beauty and all of the self-care stuff, it's also to open your eyes to Christ and what he's done in my life. As far as advice for younger women, I may do a video saying it to myself. It'll apply to everybody. Like, we've all been through some stuff. If you see my video where I talked about, you know, being arrested and stuff, then you, you get it, okay? But I can certainly do a video where I talk about just the overarching, <sighs> 
points that I would love to tell my younger self, to tell younger women. I've mentored many a teenage woman, a teenage girl, and just things that I've told them. I'm happy to do that. I'll add that to my editorial calendar. Do you wish you'd have kids at a younger age? Interesting, no ish so we had me and i was 29 going on 30 and that was fine for me you know growing up you feel like oh i should be married at this point have kids at this point just at this point and that's all cute until real life actually happens and i'm okay with that now would i have wished that i had another child before 36 yeah but not in my 20s i wouldn't have wished to be a mom of two or three in my 20s no i mean i was finishing up grad school i moved to houston i came here as a single woman i was trying to figure things out i was moved, relocating no the way my life worked no I got married at 20, whoa, how old I? God, I don't even know. Late 20s? So no, I wouldn't have chosen to be a mom in my 20s. But if my life had sped up, then sure. But as it went, no. What are you looking forward to most in your career this year? Oh my God, I'm looking forward to making more money. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, it's like, uh, I'm looking forward to better processes more time management, more structure. I'm looking forward to working smarter and not harder. And I know that that's like a cliche, but it's true. I want to manage my time better during the day, batch film in certain days, and then just chill the heck out. What's the point of being an entrepreneur, being my own boss when I'm just always like, Ugh. it's not a mess around here, but there are always ways that things can be fine tuned, if you get what I'm saying. Do you rinse your face with cold water? Good question. I use, mm -hmm. I be doing the warm water, I know. That does strip the skin, I know. I be doing the warm water. I be trying to do a little lukewarm, but it's more so warm. In the shower, the water be mad hot, I know, I know. You should be using cold, not cold. Okay, if you're thinking that cold water will shrink your pores, it's not true. You're just gonna suffer with cold water on your face in the morning, but if you enjoy that, then I guess you're not gonna suffer, you're gonna enjoy it. But no, I go for more warm, okay? First, love you. Second, I'm 40 with combo dry skin, okay? Recommendations for a skincare routine. My God, today, like that's such a very loaded question. And it's hard to give all the answers right now, but I would just say in the morning, make sure you're using a gentle cleanser, not one that's gonna strip your skin dry. Get rid of all the ones that make you feel dry afterward. Then you wanna use vitamin C serum, maybe a hyaluronic acid to add some hydration. It's a humectant, draws from the moisture in the air or from your next product, which will be your cream, but in the morning it should be an SPF, so a moisturizer with SPF is good, or perhaps a heavy moisturizer and then SPF on top. Watch my morning skincare routine video. Watch my videos on IG as well for different options. Then in the evening time, you want to, of course, cleanse your skin again. Make sure you're using a cleansing balm whether it is a balm or a cleansing oil to break down the SPF and all your makeup to use a gentle cleanser go ahead with your serum you can stick with hyaluronic acid to make things easier I don't know if you have any dark spots acne that's a whole different conversation but then of course you want to use a heavy night cream because you mentioned your skin is dry and then an oil on top and go to bed that is a simple way to put it I know you need to see what I'm talking about see how to apply oh don't forget eye cream see all of that so just watch my videos here on YouTube and IG I do have a series for skincare I use lots of different products. So for any of you, just watch and see which one might interest you to try. My job is to test out different products. So you're gonna see me using lots of different stuff all the time, whether it's skincare or makeup or even clothes, all the things, you know? Any Instagram or YouTube live in the future, girl, you are not lying. You ain't lying. It is on my list. I'm looking forward to doing more lives. I can't lie. I do get nervous on live. I get nervous that People aren't gonna be chatty. I did a Bible study on live for three months many years ago, and I found it challenging sometimes when people weren't chatty in the in the chat box. So it felt like I was talking to myself. But if I go on live and people are chatting and the combo is moving, it's easier. It just I just don't know what to say when it's really quiet. It's like, okay, what now? What's going on? And you know, I don't wanna feel like I'm doing a dance to get it right to be all excited. It's just, it felt weird. I do wanna go on live more, yes. YouTube live, I tried it. It was just giving me some problems, so I just threw it in the trash. <laughs> I can still do it, you know? I would just need to figure it out a little bit more. IG live, sure, it is on my list. Hold me to it, I'ma be on there. And I'm gonna be doing some random pop-up meet and greet, virtual meet and greets with my text community so it's more personal, all of the things, baby. So make sure you sign up, link is always below and it's here on the screen with information. 
text your kid. How do you start building a better relationship with God? My God today, listen, don't think that I'm here some pastor's wife. I'm not a deaconess, okay? I do what I can. I know for me, I need to pray more. And I always feel like praying is some like thesis statement. No, it's just talking. God, I feel so tired today. Help me, give me more energy. Lord, I just need your help. I don't know what to do. Just regular conversation. I have to always remind myself that it's just regular conversation in my regular voice. I don't have to come and be all like spirit of the living God in the name of Jesus. It don't need to be all that all the time. It can be that. You know what I'm saying? I am from a, I'm a, I'm a Ghanaian now. Come on. You know, sometimes you have to call down the, you know, the angels in heaven for some, some, you know, some reason, but it don't always have to be like that. And I get stuck in thinking that it does. And then it deters me from just talking in my regular voice, just regularly. So I have to always recommend that, but better relationship, spending time with God. So in the mornings when I don't get up and spend my time with God, I feel so off. It's just like a thing, you know? So getting up, making that time, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, whether it's in the car, no music, and you're just talking to Jesus, whatever it is for you based on your lifestyle, it's that, make it that. I do find myself, don't think I got it all you know, made over here. I do find myself sometimes feeling like I'm not doing it right. And what I have learned is that there is no right. Just do it. So whatever it looks like for you, of course, getting up in the morning is better than doing it in the evening because even God was up in the morning, you see? Of course, going somewhere quiet is better than doing it. The kitchen table, you know, at dinner because even God set aside time to be in a quiet place. But if right now in this season, all you have is five minutes before you walk into your job, then go ahead and do that. Don't. I would say don't wait because it's not perfect because even me I have my studio slash study room slash everything room and I still be like well is this right like what should I be you see what I'm saying so I would just say don't get too caught up in how it looks just start with the conversation listen I have not arrived. We still figuring this thing out. How do you maintain your confidence? I'm struggling. Depression is getting to me. Oh my gosh. Okay. So how do I maintain my confidence? So growing up, I was confident, but it was more so like, <laughs> You know, bitch, what you mean? You see what I'm saying? It was more like that arrogance, okay? Then I came to Christ and I had to learn how to be confident, but also God fearing, meaning my confidence comes from you, Lord, as opposed to, you know? I had to learn how to balance that. I do, on some occasions, have to fake it till I make it, you see? So, like I said, on an IG live, it in some cases has been awkward, but I have to smile and talk and keep the ball rolling because I'm on live and everyone's watching me. You see what I'm saying? I do know that I, it's a talent of mine to be able to talk and speak and present. It's a talent, I can't lie, right? Like we are born with certain talents. But if you're referring to confidence in body or appearance, I mean, uh, I still have work to do in that area. Yes, I'm confident in the way that I look, but baby, there are so many things I wanna change. You see, like I've been on a diet forever. You see, I mean, it's a lifestyle. I've been on a healthy eating journey forever. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know what exactly you meant with confidence, but hopefully I answered your question in any of those explanations. I hate that you said that you're depressed. I haven't ever experienced depression, although I, had, I can't lie. I've used the term, but I've never been clinically diagnosed. So even I recognize that, unless you're clinically diagnosed, how do you know you're depressed? How do you know you're not just tired or overworked or exhausted or burnt out or whatever, right? So not just you, I'm just saying for myself. I don't know what depression feels like, but what I can say is if it's the kind of depression that requires psychiatric help, evaluation with your doctor to get medication, then who am I? Do what you feel is best. If it's a kind where perhaps therapy could help, you know I've been in therapy for over a year now. I absolutely love it. I live by it. I swear by it. I need it. Okay. If it's a kind where perhaps you can handle it at home, again, I'm not well-versed on this, if it's not already obvious. If it's the kind where you can do some different things at home to help get yourself out of it, then go ahead and do that. But I would start by saying at least figure out what level of depression this is, if there are levels. I don't know, and I do apologize for that. But I hate that you said that you are depressed. I hate that you feel depressed. And with confidence, sometimes you gotta just force it until it feels natural. Could you do a video about your curls and silk press? Oh my gosh. So I've done hair videos on IG. They're short, quick videos. A hair, a video on my curls. Like how I maintain them? Cause I don't maintain my curls. Keep my natural hair routine very, very simple. I co-wash all the time because I'm washing with conditioner. And then I have gotten the silk press, what, three times now? I love it. I'm not one of those naturals who feels like my curls have to be in their natural state. I don't care. Hair to me is an accessory. 
I've chopped my hair off completely twice in my life. I once had locks in college, senior year of high school, freshman year of college, and then I cut my hair off six years ago, kept it short. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about shaved off, you see what I'm saying? So to me, hair is an accessory. Therefore, I don't put too much weight in my hair. I love my hair, yeah, but I don't put that much weight into it. I might not be the natural Lisa you're thinking about. I'm not sure. And then when it comes to my soap press, yeah, I've gotten done three times. I've gone to two different people because here in Houston, yo, folks be busy. I mean, I'm not mad. Get your bag. Y'all be busy out here in these streets, okay? So it's like, dang. So I have to have a few stylists on deck to reach out to when I need somebody. What's my zodiac sign? Stop it. I am believing in the Lord Jesus. I don't believe in the whole Sagittarius, Gemini, Sagittarius, whatever it's called. I'm a Sag, but I'm a Christian. What inspires you to create content? Because I love what I do. I know that God put me into this field for a reason. And I love what I do. I love to teach and I know that I'm good at it. You know when you're good at something when you're doing it and it feels easy. You know you're good at something when you're doing it and the feedback you get is all love. And I have fun. I'm a presenter. I'm a teacher. I'm an entertainer. Yeah, I'm a lover. You know, I'm all the things. And I love what I do. When I'm, even now talking to you, I, there's no one here, okay? No one's here. And I'm, I'm excited even talking to you. So it's, it's, isn't it obvious that I love what I'm doing? You see what I'm saying? And I'm funny? Like what in the world? How do you stay consistent? Because I love what I do and this is my bread and butter, praise the Lord, so I have to. But I love what I do. Think about it. If you work a job that you hate, going to it is painful. It takes a lot. If you work a job that you love, baby, ain't nobody gotta call you 17 times to pick up shifts or to do whatever. You are going, you are getting up. You're getting there early. You are putting in extra work because you love your boss and he or she respects you. You know, it, it's, it's that energy. It really, really is. You are beautiful. What was the first makeup you owned? Thank you, number one. I appreciate it. And number two, it was MAC, honey. I started off doing my makeup with MAC and, and it, I only used MAC for a long time and then all these other brands came out of the woodworks. I mean, you know, you had a drugstore, yeah, but like, wow, I mean, in what, 12 years, so many brands have evolved. Do you have a 2022 wish list? Girl, <laughs> what you mean, like shopping? <laughs> yes, wish list of blessings, always. You know, like, hi. Ever been to Toronto? I have not. I do want to go to Canada. My sister wants to go to Carnival. Why your weirds? Why your weirds? Yeah, so, you know, we'll see. What is one goal you have for this year? Oh my gosh. One goal I have for this year is to travel every quarter. How do you handle a defeated day and keep pushing on? Girl, if I'm defeated, I'm not filming, I'm not going on stories, I'm not doing any of that stuff. That's what I've decided. I'm not gonna force it. If I have something to film that's important, I push it the next day, I just do what I can. I, I have to sit in how I feel because when I force it, I can't be energetic and excited and, and I can't emote happiness through the camera. And then I don't want to have to deal with the comments of like, are you okay? Because if you're here and you're following someone, if not here somewhere else, and you're following them and you know how they usually are, and then here they go with a bunch of videos where they're all like, mm. it's awkward for you watching and it's awkward for me doing it. So I just, I just take my time to go sit down somewhere, girl, you know? Do you plan on getting more ear piercings? Ears, no. This third one is kind of in the cartilage. It is giving me a hard time as it heals, okay? Not to mention, I'm not used to these earrings. He is not need, he often hits my earrings. I often pull my earrings. It's just too much, so no, this is enough. I have had this one pierced, do you see? The hole, there's still some scar tissue in here. It never healed. I have had this pierced. Which one was it? My sister said, let's go get a sister ear pierced. And girl, I followed her and I got this pierced. It never healed. It was so horrible. It was horrific. I had my tongue pierced. You saw the video, you saw the video. Okay, we already discussed that. Tattoos, two of them, no need. Although I can't lie. Every now and then I'm like, mm, let's get a tattoo. But like what, of what and why? <laughs> like, am I getting it because I'm bored? Like why? What is, what's the point, you know? So, I mean, I am that kind of person, you know, tatted, pierced, but what's the point? I don't know, I don't know. Just to say I'm open to it, but it's not compulsory. When it gets tough, what gives you motivation to push through? The Lord Jesus Christ, my family, and knowing what my purpose is in life and knowing that I'm not gonna allow anything or anyone to take that from me. I just gotta keep on going, baby. What products do you use to achieve a flawless foundation look like you do? Oh my God, so many, so many. I mean, today I'm using the lip bar, just, is it just a tint? I'm wearing that today, but so many. Your makeup is not gonna look flawless if your skin is not flawless. Now, what is flawless? Okay, that's a whole different topic because I have rosacea. And if you've been here for a while on IG or on YouTube, you've seen my skin when it has broken out because I refuse to hide. Although sometimes I'm like, oh my God, my face is horrific. I refuse to hide because that's my life. And I know that many of you don't have that option to just like hide. You have to go to work every day. So you, you know your face is what it is and you're going to work. So look, you know, I might do a video on that. 
chit chat let me know comment below because what is flawless i do get it it's this theme but it's isolating because if you have acne or dark spots then you feel like oh well i'm not flawless i have rosacea Today's a good day, okay? But on the vlog, you might catch me on a bad day and my face is pimple pizza face. And it is what it is. And I still have to keep on moving and I still will keep on moving. So what foundation do I use to achieve a flawless look? I mean, I use different foundations all the time, but it's not the foundation in its entirety. Yes, some foundations are just give a really beautiful finish, but you gotta make sure your skincare is up to par and that's a whole different conversation it's not just at home pamper sessions it's also the dermatologist which i do have one so let's do a video on that girl comment let me know if you want to see that what facial steamer do i use it's from amazon amazon storefront is always linked to my description box so make sure you go look at that in the skincare self-care section got a really affordable steamer and i enjoy it i use it on days where i have extra time to just chill when i'm just moving and shaking and eating time i don't steam my face i do whenever i feel like it and whenever i have some extra time okay happy new year when was the last time you visited ghana 12 years ago before i moved to houston literally that's the way before i moved here i was in ghana it's been a long time it's a shame i get it we're planning to go. What advice would you give someone, me, that just started making makeup videos on YouTube? Oh my gosh, this is a very loaded question as well. And I get this a lot and I get it. Watch my video on how I make money on YouTube. I do touch on some advice there. I have a lot of advice to give. For instance, you gotta have personality. You gotta know what you're talking about. You got to, you can't be shy. And if you are, fake it until you make it. You gotta entertain. You gotta be organized, give the video a flow, give it a good aesthetic, you know what I'm saying? Look nice in the video. Know what you're doing. If you're doing makeup videos, you should know how to do makeup. I mean, I've watched videos where I'm like, what is that? Like, what are you doing? It's wrong. And then I just click out. So you should know what you're doing because for me, the vantage point that I come from is teaching my audience how to do their makeup. But I've watched videos from lifestyle influencers who know how to do their face, but aren't makeup artists, have never been makeup artists, so the makeup that they do is the same basic everyday look. But when I say that, I don't say that with shade because you've seen my basic everyday look. And many of y'all are like, what? If that's your basic look, what's your glam look? Like my basic look is like a wedding makeup, right? But I call it the basic look because it's my everyday. Girl, I don't want to confuse you. So what I'm saying is, first of all, do you know what you're, not that you don't, but do you know what you're doing? Because if you know what you're doing, your videos should be good because you're teaching someone how to do something that they don't know how to do. That's number one, have the energy you want to have good tech absolutely but you can certainly start off with the back of your iPhone camera and then of course upgrade but it's such, it's such a loaded question that I can't answer all of it right now that I feel like requires a consultation which I don't do I don't do consultations although I like I don't know if y'all want that I just don't know I am going to record an updated studio tour so make sure you look out for that where I explain to you what I have and how I use it but to me if you know what you're doing and you're teaching someone how to do it because they don't know how to do it your video should be successful because they're learning from it. If you have any further questions, comment below and let me know. Check the description box out for my Amazon storefront and to the links for what I got on one, okay? And I'm glad you watched the video to the end because you a real one, you see what I'm saying? As always, glad you're here and make sure you stick around and watch some more videos because I have a lot. I have a lot of different topics. Get up to date, okay? Thanks for watching, bye.